off, you must be very careful and take extreme precautions. Hey guys, Jason Homer from Bass Utopia. We're bringing you out today to a west Minneapolis lake. It's about an hour and a half west of Minneapolis, primarily a smallmouth bass fishery. Uh, the fish are going to be in a couple different stages of spawn. We've got some pre-spawn fish. We're going to have some currently spawning fish. We're going to have some post-spawn fish as well. So I couldn't think of anybody better to bring out with me than my partner uh, in some of my tournaments, Jason Dudek, this guy right back here waiting in the boat. He's ready to go. We're going to get out here and try to find a different couple different patterns, show you what we're doing, break it down, so you can come out on a lake like this hopefully and put something together yourself. We're also going to talk about the importance of how to catch, manage, and handle fish off a of bed. So it's a fun time to catch fish, but it's really important because they are the future of the lake to get those fish managed back in the water. Snap your picture, whatever you want to do, but how to take care of those fish best. So let's get out in the water and see what we can get put together. probably going to be looking mostly for, for fish that are pre-spawn at this point. So keep working some of this. We're going to check out a couple different areas and then uh, as we move into those, hopefully we can put something together. Right, another double header. Seems like we're getting into them a little bit here. Oh yeah, nice fish. Right as we're talking about the things you can do, to catch fish when it gets tough. So basically, real quickly, what we've got going on here is we're just kind of going over an area. It's about three to five feet deep. It's a good kind of staging and spawning area for these smallmouth. And as we're going through, Jay's throwing a jerk bait, trying to call some fish in, see if we get any follows or any active fish cruising around. I'm throwing a tube, going a little bit slower, just a just a. Uh, a standard tube. I've got the uh, bite me jig head with the rattle in it um, with the hook exposed just with the, the jig head inside the tube. And we're just kind of dragging that around and, and keeping our eyes open for any cruisers or spawning fish as we go through um, and just sort of trying to eliminate some water and just see you know if we can put something together in terms of what, what stage these fish are in. Pretty much I like a cadence wise anything from a jerk jerk pause to a jerk three jerks and a pause and then two so it's jerk 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 pause jerk jerk it depends sometimes I like that double jerk 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 pause jerk jerk pause you just gotta you know mix it up a little bit and see what they like and switch off with with the the length of the pause sometimes they like a two second pause and you know the, the colder the water temperature the longer the pause usually you say something Mommy! and you're bleeding. <laughs> we're fishing this lake up by Monticello and it's a it's a big jig lake. So we're, through, we're both throwing big heavy jigs. The jig gets hung up on this piece of wood and he's pulling the jig out. And all of a sudden I, it comes snapping out and you just hear <laughs> coming back. And I, I hit the deck. Yeah. And actually, no, it, came, it bounced off my ear. Here. Didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and I stuck my so hand. It bounced off my ear and stuck in and his hand. Stuck right about there. <laughs> Thank you. 
why should you get involved with BassUtopia.com? Why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't you is the question. Why shouldn't you? Um, no, we're just, it's the ground level. This is the, the people that are, that are involved right now are the people who are going to kind of lead the charge on what the site becomes. So, you know, if you, if, if there's something that you, you're seeing in websites that you're, that you're not seeing websites that you want, we're open to that as we're creating our site and we're kind of evolving. We want, we want the member and the member base to really be involved in what the site becomes and where we kind of take things. So, um, but really, like I said, the whole thing is just based on sharing knowledge, um, you know, making each other a better a better community of anglers um you know whether that's hey here's what i'm using to catch fish or here's the structure i look for or, or you know any any number of things that 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 just the basics that can make people a better angler when you're fishing for smallmouth you must use extreme precaution safety first at all times that's just going to bring sort of that kind of community uh relationship together and, and just just build the sport up in particular, get more people involved in the sport, get kids involved, get a lot of young people involved with the site right now. We're really excited about that because that's the future of the sport. So we want to kind of keep that momentum built up. And and uh, so yeah, tell your friends and family, come check out the site and hey, put together your own videos, submit them into us, we'll post them on the site. Uh, write some articles, submit them to us, we'll post them on the site. So take part in our photo and video contest. We got some great sponsors giving us some great prizes for that stuff. Take advantage of it. It doesn't cost anything and uh, Oh, we got a lot to offer. Best YouTube. <laughs>